Pointing to a psychologist's report, Mr. Buchanan told the court that Cartel has developed mental weakness and is suffering from anxiety as a result of the last 13 years. What is up my people? Welcome back to Kenny Huncher TV and today we have some exclusive news as it relates to Vibes Cartel on day 3 as it relates to his retrial hearing. Now before we jump into the details, we'd really appreciate if you guys leave a like on the video and also subscribe to this channel because we've been a bring across all the latest news as it relates to Vibes Cartel. Now what actually took place in court on day 3 is that Mr. Isaac Buchanan, the representation of Vibes Cartel, argued about poor health, lack of intimacy and also financial problem and what's shocking is a psychological report that's filed from a doctor, Karen Phillips, that Vibes Cartel mental health is going crazy. My people, we have all of the details them, including a voice recording that break every single thing down that took place inside the court so you guys should definitely stick around for this one it was the most personal portrait yet of the effects the decade-long legal saga has had on adija palmer sean campbell andre st john and kahira jones the men are seeking to convince the court of appeal to reject the state's effort to retry them for the 2011 murder of clive lizard williams the court was told that dan saw's self-styled world boss is suffering from Graves' disease and has what's described as a failing heart. Isaac Buchanan told the court that Cartel's heart is functioning at 50% of its capacity. The weakened heart is said to have increased the artist's chances of dying. The details were revealed in an affidavit filed by medical doctor Karen Phillips. Cartel's son, Adija Jahim Palmer, had raised the issue of the weakness of his father's heart in his own affidavit, but the judges had struck the reference from his filing. Cartel's attorney told the court that the artist would not be able to withstand a retrial with a weakening heart and worsening Graves' disease. The artist's mental health is also deteriorating. Pointing to a psychologist's report, Mr. Buchanan told the court that Cartel has developed mental weakness and is suffering from anxiety as a result of the last 13 years. The dancehall star and his co-accused are also reportedly struggling financially. For Cartel, his attorney told the court he's managing mounting legal and medical bills, current dependents, and had paid the legal expenses of all appellants in the first trial. Kahira Jones's affidavit pointed out that he has become indebted to the tune of almost $70 million dollars arising from legal fees and appeals. He says the kindness of one of his co-accused assisted in funding his Privy Council appeal. But it's not just money for Jones. He's concerned about how the ordeal has affected his sex life. Jones says he has also been robbed of the prime moments of his life as he went into custody at 27 years old. He's now 40 years old. He says he has been unable to form a family escorting has not been possible for him. Jones says the fact that he has been unable to enjoy the protected right to a family life, the court should not subject him to a retrial. Justice Martha MacDonald Bishop questioned whether Mr. Jones has been allowed conjugal visits during his incarceration. His attorney said no. The attorney then attempted to make the argument that the older a man gets, the window for courting closes. To this, Justice MacDonald Bishop responded, not with men. He can't court again, you say? But isn't Mr. Cartel older than him and he has a fiancé? To this, the attorney responded, he's not completely cut off, my lady. He's just saying his youth was taken. His prime was lost to the state. I see, responded Justice MacDonald Bishop. The attorneys have urged the Court of Appeal not to resubject the men to a process that has already cost them so much. They say the interest of justice would not be served by such an order. They say looking at all the factors, including the uncertainty of another trial and the unfairness of the original trial, it's impossible for Cartel and his co-accused to have a fair retrial. The Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions will open its case for a retrial at 9.30 Thursday morning. 
So there you have it, my people. A quick update on the Vibes Cartel case. So you guys should definitely stick around for more details as the days goes by. So you guys should leave a like on this video and also subscribe to this channel so that way you won't miss out on the latest updates. And I'll see you guys in the next video.